Okay guys, so apparently I'm in the mood to declutter because I just filmed a video where I um, decluttered my lipsticks. So I figured now that my camera's already set up to film at these weird angles, why not do that? So I kind of, <laughs> you guys should see this. Oh, you can't see that drawer. That's my candy drawer. Um, but I kind of want to do like a face products but I really need to do a highlighter drawer declutter, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I don't even know if I'm gonna get rid of things. It's terrible. Here's a highlighter I've been loving recently. I've shown this in a few videos. This is Becca Dreamsicle. This was a limited edition highlighter that they came out with. I don't know, was it last year? It's gorgeous on my tan skin, so I can't get rid of that. I'm keeping that. This is also a newer one. This is Peach Fizz. This came out with the Jackie Ina collection. It's like a beautiful, like, orangey, pink, shifting gorgeousness. So, keeping that. I don't know if I'm going to swatch everything, but I just felt like swatching it. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a huge loose highlighter person, but I do really like this one from ABH. And I have my eye on their um, mini set that they have for holiday. I might get that. So... Here is a Ofra highlighter. I think I got this in a boxy charm. This is the shade Rodeo Drive. It's like one of their like infamous highlighters. It's supposed to be like hella blinding. I feel like I'm kind of over like the gold highlighters. Even this one may be a little bit light for me. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. Gotta start somewhere. Um, I really like these highlighters from Maybelline. This is in the shade uh, Molten Rose Gold. I think I was determined to pick up like every shade from this lineup. So again, I think this one, I'm kind of over it. I really like this formula, but I don't see myself reaching for this. So I'm going to put that in my, um, giveaway. That, that one's my declutter. I think Ofra, these two are both in my declutter pile. Um, I really like this. This is, um, Molten Gold from Maybelline. As you can see, I've made quite a big dent in this one. This one I think is a little bit more tan girl friendly, so I'm going to be keeping that. Then I have an Anastasia. Oh, this is so Hollywood. I forgot about this. This was like their most like wanted highlighter for so, so long. I actually filmed a video where I swatch all my gold highlighters. If you guys are interested, you should scroll through my um, YouTube channel and see if you can find that video because a lot of these highlighters look the same but this one is so so limited edition that I'm going to keep that one just for the collector in me I feel like I want to keep it so I can reference it in the future this is an O for highlighter I think I got this one in a boxycharm as well this is Beverly Hills I I don't like that so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is Oh Darling again, another like coveted highlighter from MAC. This is beautiful. I think this came out holiday. Look at that, they like all look the same. <laughs> it's so crazy. This is beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. This is Hard Candy Heat Wave. I think Rail gave me this, which is why I still have it. But I feel like he'd be okay if I got rid of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we have this one by Hard Candy. I don't know where this came from, but I don't want it. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is Becca... What is this? Topaz. This was one of my first Becca highlighters. As you can see, it's got quite the dent in it. This is so old, you guys. It's pretty. I think it would be even prettier on somebody with deeper skin. I think it's time to let this go. This is like a piece of history in my makeup collection because like I said, it's like one of the first Becca highlighters I ever got. This is Opal, their famous shade. I'm kind of over it. I really like the Dreamsicle color better. I think that's like kind of my new normal for things. I told myself that I was going to be more cutthroat with my collection because... I never reach for half of the stuff in this drawer, which is a shame. So this is a new one to my collection. This is Lunar Beauty. Um, so pretty. I just used this in my Lunar Beauty video. This is Venus. I'm sure it looks like every other one, but I like that it's a little bit darker. So we're going to be holding on to that. I'm really killing it. 
Jue. I never use this. Oh gosh. Jue Citrine. This was like one of those highlighters that like everyone was talking about and I don't know. It's nice, but I never use this. So I'm going to put that in my giveaway pile. My husband got me this one. This is Lorac Twilight. And again, it's beautiful. It looks just like citrine. Oh, that one's a little bit deeper. It's not deeper. Okay. I've been holding on to this for sentimental reasons, but honestly, I feel like Rill would be more upset if I just kept this for the sake of keeping it. So I'm going to get rid of it. I won't get rid of this. This is the Anastasia Amorizi highlighter. This is stunning. One of my favorite highlighters, keeping that. Got some Wet n Wild. I don't even need to swatch these. I just, I, I won't reach for these. I'm over these. I'm gonna go in my giveaway pile. Bobbi Brown. This is Bronze Glow. This was a holiday highlight that came out a while ago. This is pretty. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try it, see if I like it. So that's like a maybe, but I'm gonna keep it. This one I'm gonna keep because it's newer and this is um, March Beauty or Samantha March's highlight with Ofra. Honestly, this is technically, I feel like I pulled it off in the video where I showed this product, but I feel like it's a little too light for me, but I'm going to keep it because I love Samantha March and she's such a sweetheart. Wet and Wild, Loose, oh God, this is a mess. This is pretty, wow. Am I running out of room? Just Oh gosh, now I'm just making, that's gorgeous. I'm going to keep that. Am I going to use this though? Let's be real here. Ooh, this is pretty. This is Wet and Wild. Mega Glow. What shade? Mm, loose highlighter in Pore de Lib Libre? Pore de... I don't know how to say that. Okay, I'm going to keep that. Let's see how it goes. Um, I like this highlighter a lot. This is the Dose Desi and Katie highlighter in the shade uh, Mirame. It's beautiful. It's like a darker shade. I think it goes with my tan skin, so I'm going to hold on to that. More Wet n Wild ones. I used to be obsessed with Wet n Wild highlighters, um, but I'm kind of over it, so I'm going to get rid of that. I like this one. This is the Disney Aladdin highlighter that they came out with this year called Always One Jump Ahead. I do buy highlighters less and less now, but as you can see, I still have plenty to show you. This is Becca... Is this Champagne Pop? I'm kind of over Champagne Pop. Like, my you know, unpopular makeup opinion, kind of over Champagne Pop, and I have her palette still with a full size of Champagne Pop in there, so I think I'm going to go ahead and sell this because I don't need it. These are my favorite drugstore highlighters, as you can see, because I have a ton of them. These are so good, and they're 10 bucks a pop. So beautiful from Milani. This one is cool. I don't know if they still sell this. This is Hypnotic Lights. It's like a beautiful like pinky color. I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, this is so not me. And I think Kaleidos is sending me their new highlighters and their colorful highlights. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, but I really like these ones from Milani. They're so affordable and so beautiful. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna keep these. I have they have like eight shades, um, but I just have four of the shades. So isn't that beautiful? I'm running out of swatchy space, but there's the dark color. These are gorgeous. I love these. I'm gonna keep them. Keep face palettes. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't even wanna open this. This is ColourPop Innuendo. When did this come out? This was one of their first blush or um, highlighter palettes, I think, that came out. So hopefully somebody's gonna to wanna to take this off my hands on Poshmark. Nicole Guerrero, I think I put this on my Poshmark and nobody bought it, which is sad, but <laughs> I'll try again. Maybe I'll make it a little bit more affordable, but it's limited edition, so if you like Nicole Guerrero, um, I never use this. This is a Milani face palette. This needs to go away. I really like this. This is so pretty. This is a Stila Starlight Star Bright palette. It came out for holiday. These are so nice. It's like their baked formula. Um, okay, that wasn't as pigmented as I liked it to be, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I'm gonna declutter this one. This is Laura Geller. 
Gilded Honey. This was like the highlighter of like what 2016, 17, 2016, 15. That's pretty. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, let's take these. No, I don't want to take them out. I'm just gonna put them right here. Okay, this Wet n Wild highlighter is really. Oh my God, something stuck to it. Is really pretty, but. I never use it, so I'm gonna like, get rid of it. I am really killing it at this deal. <laughs> killing it. Okay, so this is another Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is in the shade Molten Peach. Ooh, kind of pretty. Have I never used this? Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna try and use that more. I love this highlighter so much. This is Estee Lauder Heat Wave. They um, bought this back because it was like an old product. And I remember still, I was at my old job, and I was in a meeting, and they bought this back, and it sold out or something. But I remember trying to buy this on my phone while I was at the meeting, because that's how badly I wanted that. Ah, Super Shocks. I never use these. These are like Angie's favorites. She loves Super Shocks. Oh, that's pretty. That's Monster, by the way, that pink. That would make such a pretty inner corner highlight. Maybe I'll hold on to that. See how it makes me feel. I've got highly wasted. Ooh, these are nice. Maybe Angie's on to something. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Ah. That was so soft. I really, really like that. Okay, what's this? Churro. This was limited, right? Ooh, these are so nice. Holy crap, Angie, you might be onto something. Keeping that. I don't like this. I don't like this. I regret buying this. This is Fenty Beauty um, Trophy Wife. I like wanted to support, but you know what? Maybe I'll be into it now that I'm like over the whole gold highlight. I'm gonna keep it, we'll see. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is like a milk stick. Don't really love the milk products. I love this highlighter. This is Whisper of Guilt. Oh, so pretty. And this blush is cute, too. This is from holiday, like, 2016 or something. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Gorgeous. Love it. I bought these from Beauty Box, original Beauty Box. I like them. Um, so that's nice. More highlighters. More face palettes. Okay, these two I did post on my... Poshmark, but nobody bought them. The glow kits. These are hardly used, guys. It's so pathetic, but I'm going to put them in my declutter pile. I need to get them out of here. This I was thinking about the other day. I was like, I should really try this. I don't think I ever did. It came shattered, and then they sent me a replacement, and I don't think I've ever used this, but I think if, let's say, I was like shopping my stash, which I don't do, I'm adding this to my like shop my stash of the next week or so. Those are gonna be the highlighters I use. Dior. <laughs> Can't get rid of this, it's freaking Dior. So that's gonna go in the keep basket. Um, this is one I bought. I don't think I've ever used this. This is Whisper of Guilt, isn't it? I bought it in this packaging because it's fucking gorgeous. Oh, this is Happy Go Dazzling. Did I ever use this? I was gonna even return it and I didn't because it's so pretty. Like sometimes I can be a collector, right? So I'm gonna keep that. Love that for myself. Um, this is one I was collecting too. This is the Mariah Carey um, highlighter that they came out with in her collection. It's like unused. Isn't that pretty? I feel like it's too dark for me. But isn't that gorgeous? And I feel like it's time for me to try and sell this. Because I, like when am I gonna use it? Never. I don't know. Okay, you guys tell me in the comments. Should I try and hold on to it just to collect it or should I declutter it? I'm gonna get rid of this. I just ran my finger in there. This is gorgeous. Actually, I know who to give this to. I'm gonna give this to my friend's sister who loves makeup. She's getting that. Another Wet n Wild highlighter, pass. This is really pretty, but I don't want it, pass. Also really pretty, ooh, I might keep this. This might be a good like 
highlighter to have for drugstore, even though I don't think you can even buy this anymore. I'm just going to hold on to this. Dior highlighter palette. So cute. Need to use this more. <sighs> can I shop my stash two highlighters? Okay, I'll do this one next. So I'll just put it back here with the first one. Love. I don't know if I should keep this or not. Maybe. We'll see. I'm not sure. Okay, and then I have two of the I Love Sarai. I bought these because I'm obsessed with palm print. I don't know if you guys know this fun fact about me, but here is the shade Bath. I'm going to get rid of the packaging. And this one is called Soulmate. Ooh, pretty. So shimmery and pretty. Ooh, that's nice. That's so nice. Okay. Love. Okay, so those are like my ones that I'm keeping. So now I'm going to reorganize this drawer with just the ones I'm keeping. And I'm going to speed this up so you guys can just watch me do it. Okay, so that is all that's left, and the Huda one, that's my current highlighter drawer, and now I'm going to show you guys what I'm getting rid of. Okay guys, so here is everything I am getting rid of. I got rid of 28 highlighters, I feel like that's pretty freaking impressive, considering I've just been like hoarding these in my drawer so very exciting to go in and just you know be cutthroat and get rid of some stuff so let me know what you guys think of this type of video i think that i might have a few more things i'd like to go through and declutter so look for those videos in the future leave me some feedback because i'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are if you have any tips and tricks on decluttering leave those in the comments as well if you want to purchase any of this stuff from me it'll eventually get listed on my Poshmark the link to my Poshmark is listed in my description box so definitely go ahead and give me a follow there that's where most of my makeup that I reviewed ends up because I can't possibly use up all this makeup in a lifetime so hopefully you guys can take some advantage of my love for purchasing and reviewing makeup as well Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much, much more. And I will see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.